Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Lisa and today's video we are doing something so exciting and something I've anticipated for almost two months now. But basically, if you guys don't follow me on Instagram, I have been going on this whole almond croissant craving type of, I don't even know what you would call this, honestly. It started off with me having an almond croissant one day in a cafe when I was in Vancouver. It was not my first almond croissant, it was just my first almond croissant in a while and I was like, oh my god, I totally totally forgot how good it is. So ever since then, I've just kind of been on the hunt for almond croissant and I've been having a lot of cravings. I started asking you guys on Instagram for the best almond croissants in Vancouver. So today, we are going to be testing and driving to all the different Vancouver locations for almond croissant. I have a list here that you guys helped me construct and I'm pulling it up now. There has been over 10 or 15, I think this is actually close to 20. I'm going to do a screen recording and show you guys here of how many places you guys have told me. The ones I've checked marked already are the places I've already gone to because there are honestly so, so, so many. I'm actually only going to be going to the ones where more than one or two people have suggested because I feel like if we actually do hit up the 20, I don't know how accurate the review is going to be and also because we're really just trying to narrow down the best. So I'm going with the recommendations and prioritizing the locations that people have recommended more than one time or by more than one person. Person. Just a quick list right now. We are still going to go to Cherry and Terra Bread because those are two places that I absolutely love. I've also tried Faubourg, which I also love, so we might just go there. Other places I'm really excited to try are Thomas Hawes, Angus T, Shea Christophe. I'm going to show you guys what I did, but I've mapped the locations of the cafe around Vancouver. So we're just going to go in a circle until we're back at my house again, and then we're going to review. I'm so excited to show you guys, and I'm excited to take you guys along. Okay, guys. We are currently at our first stop and the first stop is going to be Shea Christophe. So we are in Burnaby. There's also another cafe down the street that we're going to go to. I'm probably not going to show you guys all of them, but I'll do like a fast forward of me going into most of the cafes. But here we go. Here we are. Fior de Latte. Is this the last almond croissant? I am getting really lucky here. Honestly, guys, this tour is taking me all over Vancouver. We are now out of Burnaby. We are currently in Vancouver and we're at the Fairmont Pacific Rim and we're at Giovan. Giovane? Jo I, I don't know how to pronounce this. We're here at Bocoup Bakery. This is the location with my favorite almond croissant so far. Next stop, we have Angus Tea. The fact that they have a croissant in their logo kind of shows, you know? Next stop is Small Victory. Last location of the day, and we're gonna be at Thomas Ha. I think there's a lineup. So this is the situation. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hey guys, so I am finally back in my house. I have all the almond croissants here with me and I'm just gonna explain a little bit before we get into the review. So I'm gonna talk about how I'm gonna do this review and some of the stores we're reviewing. The first disclaimer I wanna make is that, like I said earlier, I didn't go to everything on the list. I will leave the list down below if you wanna try the ones that I didn't get to go to for the sake of time and also just actually having more accurate review and not trying 20 different croissants and I forget like the first one or the second one that I tried. I also do want to mention that there were three cafes that I did want to go to but I didn't get a chance to. So the first one was Terry. That one I forgot to add in my map because I had already gone there and tried it and loved their almond croissant. So that was just me being forgetful. The second one is Thomas Ha. That one I've never tried before. I've called ahead for a lot of these places but that was one place I did not call and by the time I got there they just ran out. And then the third one is Boberg. I don't know if I'm pronouncing 
pronouncing that right, but it's the one in Caresdale. And that one I've also tried before. I'm going to be doing this in the order of pricing. So we're gonna eat the cheapest almond croissant all the way to the most expensive. This is all before tax, by the way. So in order of pricing, I have Fior de Latte, Chez Christophe, Terra Breads, Boku Bakery, Angus Tea, Jovan and Small Victory. I'm really excited to try this because as you guys know, I'm so in love with almond croissants. In fact, I had one rant that I did in my Instagram stories that I converted to TikTok. I was talking about how when I was driving, I had this epiphany where when I came to a stop, I like put my hand out to save my almond croissant and I've never done that for anyone before. So I was like, I'm gonna use that as a metric to find my new man because if I care about him as much as I care about my almond croissant, that's when I'll know that he's the one. This video somehow kind of went viral. I will leave a link down below if you want to check it out. But people in the comments are calling me the female Joey Tribbiani, which honestly, I'm not mad. This is kind of accurate. Like this is how I feel about food. But anyway, another disclaimer that I want to make is that these opinions are my own. I feel like I have kind of like a different taste bud. So in general, I kind of like things when they're like not as cooked, not cooked to the point where it's like too toasty. Anyway, I wanted to say that because I think it is going to impact a lot on the review. Nothing against the croissants or anything. The second thing that I want to mention, even if the filling is good, if the croissant and the bread is not that soft or buttery, I feel like I'm already not gonna, you know, be like super into it. And then the last thing, I don't like when the things are too sweet. So that's gonna be another thing. I will be taking two bites. I'm taking this so seriously, but you know what? I'm too deep into this at this point. And I'm gonna do a view to show you my setup right now. But when I actually do the taste test, I'm actually going to cut the almond croissant in half because, you know, I don't wanna waste. My parents can also try the almond croissant. I have talked enough. So without any further ado, let's get this video started. At the top here are all the almond croissants that are in the $5 range. And the two here at the bottom are the $6 range. This is starting from the cheapest all the way to the most expensive. So. Let's just kind of go through each place. Starting with number one, we have Fior de Latte for $5.25. This is what it looks like. The second one is by Chez Christophe. The third one is by Terra Breads. This one is the one that me and my parents love the most so far, but we've only been to two places. This is by Boku Bakery. This one is by Angus Tea. This is also the only one that also has chocolate drizzle. The last two are the most expensive ones, and this is by Joven. Okay, someone needs to teach me how to pronounce this place. And the last one is Small Victory. Okay, so starting with Fior de Latte, let's go with the first bite, which is the tip of the almond croissant, and then I'm gonna take a bite in the middle. Mmm. Okay. I feel like there's a lot of sugar on top, which is not my fave, and it's a little burnt on the sides. Mmm. Okay. Their filling is really good. I think the croissant itself is all right. The filling is phenomenal. It's a little too burnt for me, which is not my fave, like I said. That's pretty much it. Okay, let's go to the next one. Next one is by Shea Christophe, and this one is the one in Burnaby. I'm very excited for this one because so many people recommended Shea Christophe, like so many. I love how concentrated the almonds are in this croissant, and this is what the filling looks like. It's quite thick. Thick. So let's get started. Starting with the first bite. Okay. I like how there's not a lot of hard sugar on top. I don't think there's any actually. I kind of like that better. It is a little crunchy for me. And now let's try the filling. So the filling in this one is really mild. If you're not into a lot of sweet stuff, I think this one is perfect. But to be honest, I'm a little bit disappointed because I feel like it's a really good almond croissant, but I'm not mind blown. Maybe my expectations for this one was just a little too high. It's still a really good almond croissant. Filling wise, I like the Fior de Latte one better, but this one, I do like the croissant itself better. And I do like how it's not as sweet because it doesn't have like the hard sugar on top. The next one is by Terra Breads. And the Terra Breads almond croissant currently holds first place in my eyes. I also bought this at a different location. So we'll see. Yup, so good. 
Oh my god. But I feel like the first one that I had in the Granville Island location is still better though. This one's like not as mind blowing as I remember it to be. The filling on the inside is actually really good. I think it's better than the shaker stuff. I don't know if it's because I like more sweet filling. There's like a sugar coating here at the end. Out of the three, I still like the taro breads better. Next one is by Boku Bakery. This one is $5.95. And I already feel like I'm gonna really like this one because I can tell that it's not as burnt. Let's give it a try. Oh my God. Oh my God. The breading, like the croissant portion of this croissant is so good. This is what it looks like. And this is the filling. I'm really excited to try the filling. Whoa, the almond taste in this one is really strong. This one's really creamy on the inside. This one is really good in terms of the filling. And if you really like that almond strong taste, this one is gonna be it. So the next one is by Angus Tea and this one is $5.95. And this one's kind of cheating because this one is the only one with almond drizzle on top and a chocolate piece in the middle. So this is kind of like one upping everyone already because you already put in chocolate and everyone likes chocolate. So you can tell that there's a little bit of the hardened sugar on the outside. Guys. This one wins for the breading. This one takes the cake. Oh my God, the bread is so good. Like the croissant. There is no comparison so far. I bit into it and it was like, holy crap, this is so good. I don't think it has anything to do with the chocolate. This one is the winner so far. Angus Tea was the one and only place that upsold me. They have an Earl Grey almond croissant. All they sell in there are croissants. I haven't tried it yet, but I'm so excited to try. Okay guys, we have two more almond croissants. It's the two most expensive ones at $6. So let's give it a try. I'm gonna be honest with you, just by looking at it, I feel like I'm gonna like the small victory one better because this one looks very burnt on the outside. This is what I mean by when it looks really burnt. Like I don't really like to see that color, but I feel like some people really like it. Whoa, the bread is really, really good. Okay, let's try the filling. Mmm. Okay, I really like this filling. This one and Boku Bakery and Fior de Latte have the best filling so far. This is really good. The last almond croissant on our tour. So this is the Small Victory Almond Croissant. Once again, $6. I am very excited for this one. By the way, the cafe for this one is so, so nice. This one I think is also one of the prettiest almond croissants ever. Let's start with the outside. Whoa. I'm actually dying because I think you can tell when something is really obviously good in the first few bites. Guys, this is my theory, okay? Food in general is kind of like a song. A good song is a song that, you know, maybe you didn't like it at first, but because the radio plays it so much, you eventually start liking it. What differentiates a good song and a song that like freaking blows your mind is the one where like in the first second, you're just like, I love it. I feel like there's only a few croissants here that have given that feeling in this review. I would say it would be the Angus Tea and the Small Victory. From my own memory, the Terra Breads one from Granville Island and the Terry one, Terry Theory, the Theory Bakery or whatever, those two are also the ones where the minute you bite into it, you're like, yes. A lot of these other almond croissants, they have like other amazing factors. Some of these almond croissants, for example, the Boku Bakery one, the breading's really good. I think there's some that are a little bit better, but the filling, which you're not gonna get from the first bite, but that one's like probably one of the best fillings because I feel like it has such a strong almond taste so that one definitely wins you know in the filling aspect for the sake of this video I already cut the almond croissant in half but like realistically when you go buy an almond croissant you're obviously gonna eat the tip of the almond croissant first you're probably not gonna rip it in half and like bite in the middle that's just kind of my little analogy slash comparison it's like a song anyway I haven't tried the filling yet so let me try the filling Okay, I really, really like this feeling as well. I think that after trying all of the almond croissants, I would say from this particular list, my two top picks in terms of first bites are definitely Angus Tea and Small Victory. Those two are amazing. 
Everything else, honestly, are just overall still amazing. I am picking from a list that you guys have already narrowed down for me by just simply going with the ones that are the most recommended. I just feel like, yeah, all of these are really worth checking out. My personal favorite are also the Terra Breads one from the Granville Island location and also the Teary one in downtown on Alberni Street. So if you guys have a chance, definitely check those two out as well. All of these are really good. I really hope that I can try the Thomas Ha one eventually. It was so hurtful to me when I I went to the Thomas Ha location and there was a huge lineup and everyone that was sitting outside eating all had an almond croissant on their plate. Hopefully I'll get to try it when I'm back. I know this was a really random video, but either way, I hope you guys enjoyed this quick and random review. And I feel like maybe with all this excess almond croissant now, maybe I'll stop talking about it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.